Let's take a look at factoring trinomials on HP Prime Graphing Calculator. Now, this isn't going to be what you might think. And, and some of you have done this. No, there's an easier way on HP Prime. Uh, but I try to stay away from the CAS menu uh, for college algebra. Um, many instructors will not allow you to use a computer algebra system um, on in college algebra. And uh, the reason why is because the point of college algebra is to teach you analytical thought thinking. And um, if the calculator does too much, then it takes away from that. Well, let's say you have trouble factoring. Well, the uh, if you're smart with the HP Prime, you know it does it directly. You don't have to do what I'm going to show you, but uh, we're going to go this path. So we got x squared minus 6x minus 16, and we want to factor that. Well, let's put that in our calculator. I'm going to go to my apps menu. I'm going to go to my function, so I do enter on function. Do a backspace to wipe out what's there, and I'm going to put my x squared. So I do my x key, x squared, minus 6x, minus 16. Press enter, and then I want to press plot. Now our answers are going to be where it crosses the uh, x-axis. Looks like negative 2. I can press my menu here, and I can choose function, and I can choose root. Uh, and you see there's a 1 in front of it, so I just press 1. And it comes back and tells us uh, negative 2. So that means we got x is equal to negative 2. The other one looks like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe? I don't know. Um, I'm going to click OK here. And I'm going to do my right arrow key to move my cursor over close to the one I'm trying to find. Doesn't have to be right on top of it. You can hold down on it, um, the right arrow, quickly go over there, or relatively quickly. Okay, here's my cursor. I'm over close to this one now. So I do my function, and I choose one for root, and it tells me eight. Okay, what we want to do is we want to get zero on the right side. We don't want any fractions. So I'm going to take this negative two and move it to the right side. Remember when you take anything across or equals, your sign changes, so the negative two becomes a positive two. And the 8. I'm going to take the 8 over to the left side. And it becomes a negative 8. So we got x minus 8. Now once you get 0 on the right side and you don't have any fractions, then that's your answer. So this one factors as x plus 2 times x minus 8. And let's take a look at this one. That's our first one. We got 8x squared minus 6x minus 5. So let's go put this in. Uh, click OK here, go to my uh, symbol, do a backspace to wipe that out. And I got 8x squared, so 8, and then max key, x squared, minus 6x minus 5. And press Enter. Now for press plot, again our answer is where it crosses the x-axis, looks like negative 1 half. Uh, let me press menu, choose function, and choose root. So I'll do 1 for root. And it says root is 1.25. So I found this one on the right side. 1.25. Well, if I press home and choose vars, and uh, we were in function, so I do 1 for function. And you see results. If I press 1 there, you see the third one is root. So I'll do 3. And then I'll press enter, and you see the 1.25. Now if I push my fraction button, it changes it to 5 fourths. So our first one is x is equal to 5 fourths. Well, let's find our second answer. Go back to my plot. Uh, we found the one over here, so I want the one over on the left side. I'm going to move, move my left, or I press my left uh, arrow until my flashing cursor over is uh, closer to the one we're trying to find. So I want it over here. Press menu, press function, choose R, one for root, and it tells me negative 0.5. Yeah, that's a pretty easy uh, one, but let me again show how to change it to fraction. I'll do OK, press my home, do vars, one for function, one for results, three for root, and press enter, and I'll push my fraction button, this A to B over C, 
and tells me negative one half. Okay, now we're ready to work with this. Remember what I said, we do not want any fractions. Well, that's easy. This first one, we can multiply both sides by four. And that gives us 4x is equal to 5. And on our second one here, we can multiply both sides by 2. So 2 times x and 2 times negative 1 half. So we got 2x is equal to negative 1. No fractions. Now we want to get 0 on the right side. So I'll take this 5 and move it over. And I'll take this negative 1 and move it over. So this becomes 4x minus 5 is equal to 0. And this becomes 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Since I got 0 on the right side and I don't have any fractions, then that's our answer. So this factors as 4x minus 5 times 2x plus 1. Okay, let's look at our third one. We got x squared plus 20x minus 1500. Let's go plug this in, press my symbol, do a backspace, wipe that out, x squared, so I do my x key, x squared, plus 20x, minus 1500, press enter, and now I'm going to press on plot. And I don't see my graph, that's okay, um, I'll do menu, and I'll choose zoom. And I want to zoom out, so um, I'm going to do 4. And um, I probably should move my cursor first. Let me do a zoom. I hate the, that it doesn't put it in the center to begin with. And I'm going to do my up arrow, and I want to do undo zoom. Okay, where's my cursor at? Um, I'm going to shut trace off. So I can find my cursor. If I do menu, I can see where it's at. 0, negative 10.5. So I'm doing up arrow. And too much. And just about there. Okay. I just put my cursor exactly in the middle. See, I got 0, 0. So um, let me push menu. Choose zoom. And I'll choose zoom out. Number 4. And I see one piece over here, but I want to see both. So I'm going to do zoom again. And I'll choose zoom out, um, which is 4. And now I see both of them. So I'm happy with that. Um, my cursor is exactly in the middle. I'm going to do my left arrow key. Move it over closer to this one. And then I'll push my function, choose my root, so 1. And I get uh, negative 50. Well, let's find our other one. I'm going to press my OK. I'm going to shut off trace. And then I'm going to do my right arrow key. Move my cursor over closer to the other one. It doesn't have to be right on top of it. That's probably close enough. Do my function. Choose one for root. And I get 30. Now, again, two guidelines are we don't want any fractions. Don't have any. And we want zero on the right side. So I'll take this negative 50, move it over. And I'll take this 30 and move it over. So that's going to give us x plus 50 is equal to 0, and x minus 30 is equal to 0. Again, once you got rid of the fractions and you got 0 on the right side, that's your answer. So this factors as x plus 50 times x minus 30. I had a student from, uh, I think it was Norway, um, and she said that this is the way that they taught her class up in Norway. I, I wouldn't be so bold to say it's how they teach every class in Norway. But um, they don't teach it with the um, calculator, but they have them do the quadratic formula first and then go in reverse like you've seen me do, um, which I thought was interesting. Um, I, I don't think factoring is that hard, but some people have a hard time mastering this. So, again, this gives you an alternate way of uh, factoring without having the CASP um, function just give you the answer direct. Anyway, that's factoring trinomials on HP uh, Prime. Uh, graphing calculator. Actually, I better show you how to zoom this back. If I do OK, choose Zoom, and I want to drop arrow and choose uh, decimal and enter. That'll set it back.